Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my fifth tutorial on Microsoft Access Queries and this tutorial is going to show you how you can add your own uh, parameters into a query uh, so that when it runs it, it asks you for information uh, and then returns back your query based on that information. Uh, so I'm just going to add in a couple of parameters. Um, so if you go to query at the top here and then parameters and then there's, this is going to be the list of parameters that you could use within your query um, and so I'm just going to have start date and that's going to be a date type and end date which is also going to be a date type and click OK and then I'm also I'm just going to add in one more so parameters and item number and that's going to be a value um, a single or no an integer sorry an integer my bad, there's me getting confused by my data types. Um, if you don't understand the data types, then go back to one of my previous tutorials on Microsoft Access Basics, um, and that will show you how to how you what all the data types mean. Um, so click OK, and then now we can write these into our query. So I'm going to put the dates in here. So I want it to be uh, greater than or equal to the start date. And then when you write your parameters in, you need to put them in square brackets. So start date, let's close square bracket. And then we want an and in here. So just write and, uh, and then less than or equal to ends date and we need remember to put the square brackets in end date close bracket uh, and then you don't need the hashtags because it because they're a date type it will recognize it and bring them through for you um, we then want instead of one here we want to have item number close bracket let's just check that we've got our parameters right we have so brilliant um, and then so let's save this and close it off and then whenever you run this query it's going to come up with the parameters um, and it'll come up with the order that you have them in that parameter dialog box so we'll put in our start date so we want from uh, the 1st of November 2012 click OK end date let's have the 30th of November 2012 click OK and we want all item numbers too and then you notice then that this is loaded up and it's given us all item numbers too for the dates that we gave um, if we close it off and every time you run it it's going to prompt you again so let's put in November again and 30th of November and then let's have item number one and then you'll notice that it's brought through all the item number ones um, so just to recap, let's go into design mode. So you can use your parameters wherever you want. Um, you just need to remember that they always go around square square brackets. Um, and as best practice, just put them in, in this parameters table, assign what data type they are, uh, and then the, the order that they run in as well. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial is going to show you how to build slightly more complex functions within here. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you within the next tutorial.